Hey everybody, it's TapTap. I thought I'd give a sort of status update. Um, lots of cool stuff happening sort of behind the scenes, but less videos than I was kind of hoping to put out. Um, first thing, the whole weekly stream thing not really working out. Um, I heard that YouTube may be going back into streaming like with a gaming focus sort of thing. And it's sort of... I don't know. I really don't want to build two user bases and all that crap. So YouTube being the go-to place to stream would be really, really convenient for me. So I kind of want to wait out and see if that does materialize or what's going on with that. Because if YouTube goes serious on gaming with streaming, has a lower delay, has a decent chat experience and does not completely 100% screw up the copyright stuff, I think I'm going to be good on YouTube over Twitch, unless it, for some reason, still doesn't catch on. But uh, I think if they don't do anything incredibly stupid, which is entirely possible, it could really easily become my number one choice for streaming, and that makes the whole growing a viewer base really much easier for me. Um, secondly, there's also the website that I started up. I was sort of hoping to do some quick reviews and stuff on there. I really just ended up doing my Axiom Verge review and a guide. I've actually got a guide for 100% and a spoiler-free sort of walkthrough kind of thing. And I've got some nice, fully detailed maps on there if you need them for that game. That Axiom Verge is absolutely fantastic, and you should buy it at your most immediate convenience but um that's sort of taken more time than i initially planned it to i wasn't initially planning to do a guide at all actually but i was just making some notes for myself and then i thought you know i'm gonna have this mostly done before the game releases so why not just release it on when the game releases and get some views and i've got about 2000 to six or er, 2000 to 3000 views per day out of pretty much just the guide um, kind of annoying to not have other content for people to read while I'm getting that many hits, but, uh, oh well. But so, I, I want to grow that site, and so that's going to take some time that would otherwise be videos, probably. Um, so, I, I kind of want to, there's some games I want to review and talk about, but they just, I really can't do a video for it. Like, I think probably the first time I really realized this was... Um, LG for a Dead World, great, weird game that is, like, I can barely write about it. It's so weird. Like, it's a game where you learn, it basically teaches you to write. Like, not at, like, teaching you English, but, like, teaching you to write fiction. And it's really cool, but I have no idea how I'd do a video for it. I'm even having trouble doing a written review for it. But there's also some other stuff, like, I really like, um, you know niche Japanese games like stuff from Cave, stuff that Xseed, NISA, um, who else is that? Idea Factory International, um, Atlas, that kind of stuff. And th this, it's not the same to do like a Let's Play video of those, because like I like to do, you know, just quick looks and lots of stuff doesn't show well in quick looks, so that's what I would do the written content for. I'm not really sure how or if I'm going to integrate, like, my video stuff with the um, YouTube stuff. Like, if people want, I could do, like, a monthly roundup of what of the stuff I posted. Um, I'm not going to post a video every time I post a blog post or anything. But I would like my, you know, YouTube viewers to be aware of that. So, I don't know. I might, you know, make a what's new on the blog sort of thing every month or I don't know. I also started a Patreon, like, I, I drafted it out, and I really don't know what I have to offer for goals or rewards, because I don't really want to let people pay to tell me what to let's play, that's not really, no. Um, I don't really want to make paid-only content, so, and I'm not sure anyone would bother paying for that, honestly. Um... Yeah, I just don't really know. And the goals, like, most of what I want money for is equipment, and that's, it only lets you do monthly goals. It's not like a Kickstarter with a set fixed goal. 
it's a monthly goal, and the only thing I can think of is for removing ads, and that's sort of a moving target, because the more popular I get, the more money ads potentially make, and it's just kind of complicated, and I'd have to basically set it for an amount I don't frankly expect to get, and I don't know. If anybody has ideas for what I could offer for rewards or goals, go ahead and suggest them, but I'm not really sure I could really do much there. And I'm not really sure. I'm kind of in an awkward popularity bracket where I don't honestly expect many people will donate. Um, especially, frankly, not with my current op output level. Like, I really want to do more content more consistently, but it's currently sort of in this awkward sort of space where it's popular but not quite popular enough to just be like, you know, actually get donations, actually take it really ser seriously, so, you know, I don't want to stress myself out too much or focus too much on it. I still want to keep it, you know, fun and not stress myself out. That's why I stopped doing the streams. It's, it was stressing me out, and it's just, that's not why I do this. I kind of stress myself out doing other stuff too, but it's like at least a learning experience. Streaming just never feels like a learning experience. It just feels like I'm always screwing up the same crap. And it's just, ugh. Um, the website has been informative. Like, I do feel like I'm learning and improving there, even if I really do need to actually make a bunch of content. I have 13 drafts and three posted things, and two of those are guides. So <laughs> that's kind of sad. Um, but yeah, on the website, I'll probably be doing reviews. Probably not too many guides. It's a lot of work, but it is really nice to see people, like, thanking you and really helping people out but it's also a lot of work and it's not really worth it if somebody already has a working guide out there so it's probably only worth it if i can get a game early which happens somewhat often but i don't usually want to do a guide but mostly it's going to be written reviews and blog stuff like i want to talk about certain game design stuff that bugs or intrigues me so like i have a few ideas already lined up for articles i just haven't actually done them so yeah, the website, I'm hoping that will become more of a thing. And the other thing that's been successful is I've been trying to round up, um, you know, get on some press lists and get, you know, early access to some games so I can show you some cool stuff day one when games come out. Um, it really is kind of nice to be there first. Not like, honestly, it is kind of for views. It's just like, I don't really feel... Like, I feel I'm providing a more valuable service to my viewers when I, you know, have info game, like, day one, I have a review expressing my feelings about Axiom Verge instead of, you know, three weeks later, I have a review that ha says everything everybody else already said three weeks ago. That's, you know, I still want to gush about it, but it's already been done, so I would still do stuff like that. I still do review and let's play old games, but, uh... I'm rambling over here. Basically, I've been trying to get press access, and I've been pretty successful at it. Um, I'm just kind of shy, and it's kind of stressful to do for no particular reason, like, good reason. Like, the worst thing anyone has ever done in response to me asking for a press key is just not replying. Um, which kind of sucks, but it's also been pretty rare. But yeah, I... I don't know, I'm getting better at that, and that's my main goal, is to, like, either get on the list so I don't have to worry about it anymore, or get so used to it it doesn't stress me out. I'm not really at that level yet, but, uh, I'm, you know, I'm on some decent lists. I'm trying to get on Devolver Digital's list. They do some pretty cool indie games. Well, they publish some pretty cool indie games. They don't do much other than publish. Um, but yeah, for like example, I should be having a written review of Omega Quintet for PS4. Like, that's the sort of game that I really, how do you do a YouTube video of a JRPG? Like, I know some people do do videos and some people enjoy watching those of like an entire 60 hour playthrough of a game. And I mean, if you like that, go ahead. But that's not the kind of content I want to create. That's not the kind of content I want to watch. I'll do a written review instead. I intended this to be much shorter, so I'll think I'll just stop rambling here. 
But yeah, that's where my status is at. I'm gonna try and get some videos. I say this all the time. More videos this weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of trying to go beyond my comfort zone and, well, it's made me uncomfortable and caused me to make less videos, but I'm learning things. And uh, hopefully I've, I sh I've found some games that look pretty cool, so hopefully I'll have some videos of those soon. 